I know naturally yeah. I'm a soft-spoken person. I know, yeah. I am. Yeah. Combating but that's what's that beautiful about you too, though. No, but that also understand there's beauty in softness. Yeah. But there's also beauty in being loud. Sure. So right now you're only accessing the benefits of one area of your voice, yeah. which is being soft. Sure. Which means you connect, you naturally, a soft voice connects with emotional people better. Yeah. But when you have like an alpha type personality, that you get drowned out. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I, absolutely. It's so difficult though to break yourself away from it. Yes. And, and just spend the time focusing on how do you change, what do you change? Yes. And how do you make that change? Stick. Yes, yes, yes. There's, can, can, I, can I share with you how you do that yeah, real quickly? Absolutely. So right now you're living in a bubble, okay? Everyone believes you should sound the way you sound. So if you try to sound different tonight with your wife or your friends, they'll be like, Paul, what are you doing? You're weird. You're weird. Okay, so you don't do that because that's the fastest way to sound like how we sound for the rest of our lives. Yeah. This is what you need to understand. There's a concept called neutral ears. So the way to make it stick is today later when you go down to the hotel receptionist, she has no preconceived ideas how you should sound. So if her name is Jessica, you go, Jessica, hey, good to see you, just checking out. Be overly loud. She's a neutral ear. She has no preconceived ideas of how you should sound. Okay. She has no context. It's okay, you'll never see her again. you never see her again. <laughs> but that's the beauty of neutral ears. Practice that. Sure. Because the first times you do it, it will sound unnatural, it will sound like you're overdoing it. But how do you know you're overdoing it unless you've tried it? Sure. And you do it on neutral ears before you do it for the people that are around you the most.